Hetepheres I, the illustrious queen of ancient times. Reigning supreme over the monumental pyramids. Cast aside thoughts of Wall Street, this is the narrative of the primal financial powerhouse. Where she, Hedda Fairy's worst, held sway. Picture this. She wasn't merely a bystander in the shadows, she orchestrated the financial dance, strategically stacking those precious ancient Egyptian coins. Envision a realm where gold wasn't just a symbol of opulence, but a tangible currency, and Hedda Fairey's first was the reigning proprietor. Now one might scoff at the notion of investing in pyramids, but not for head of fairies. She wasn't just an ordinary real estate tycoon. Those pyramids were her vast gold mines. People from near and far flocked to witness these architectural marvels, leaving offerings that only added to her immense wealth. This was the true alchemy, transforming stones into a treasury of gold. Yet there's more to this financial matriarch. She wasn't content with amassing wealth. She became the archetype of the original financial influencer. Bedecked in her own bling, surrounded by her entourage, she fostered an economic dynasty. She was, in essence, the pioneer of living your best life. Now brace yourself for the revelation. Hedda Fairies wasn't solely fixated on accumulating wealth. She propagated it, laying the foundation for the concept of the family business masterclass. Beyond the calculations of her gold, she imparted financial sagacity to her progeny, a precursor to generations of financial acumen. So why should the modern observer care about Hedda Fairey's worst? Because she wasn't just a queen, she was a financial luminary. Her narrative transcends the sands of time. It's a blueprint for orchestrating your wealth strategically. Embark on an enthralling odyssey through ancient financial landscapes, guided by the legacy of Hedifaris I, the archetype of financial mastery. Stay tuned as we decode the secrets of financial triumph, ancient Egyptian style. Hit that subscribe button for a regular dose of financial enlightenment. And remember, as head of Faris, I set the pinnacle, so can you.
It's time to ascend to the throne of your financial kingdom.